So how do you slow down a video in your iPhone Photos app? Let me show you how it works. Let's get started. If this is your first time here on this channel, consider subscribing as there are plenty of tutorials which are coming up on this channel and I don't want you to miss them. Anyways, if you have captured the video through your iPhone camera, but using the slow motion feature, you can see you can like swipe left onto the camera features and go to the like time lapse, cinematic, and there is also slow motion, right? So if you tap record while slow motion, then you will have different controls for that video in the Photos app. So for that particular footage, you can tap on the edit button and not only adjust like, you know, the length, you can of course trim it as every other video, but below you can also see the speed adjustment where these like vertical lines where they're like more spread out, it indicates the slower part of that video. And when it's like full put together, then you can, of course, just get it to the regular speed. And you also have the speed control in at the top right corner, so you can literally just make it go like 50% of the speed and you can see the frame rate, right? So you have like different controls for that type of video because the slow motion video has been captured with like 20, I mean, sorry, 120 FPS. So that's a bit different. So if you would like to perform the same things for like regular videos captured through the normal video mode on the iPhone, for that, you need to use a third-party solution and video editor. So in my case, I would recommend you to go with the CapCut, which usually I recommend to the most people because it's like free to get and there are some paid features and whatnot, but you can slow down your regular videos. You can speed it up. You can do whatever else you need in the speed department because you have also like the curves and these like graphs and whatnot. So it gets the job done, it works well, and it doesn't have to be the slow motion video to begin with. So let me know if you managed to do what you needed. Thanks a lot for watching and your support, and I'll see you later in the upcoming tutorial. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you then.